everyone. I just got my package from Essential Depot and I wanted to open it up with you. I thought it I thought FedEx said it wasn't coming in until tomorrow. And so when I came home and had my box, I was so excited. So let's see what we got. Let's see. I bought ginger grass essential oil, glycerin vegetable, uh, yeah, vegetable based glycerin, black cumming essential oil, and I bought the hydrogen uh, flake. Per, um, I bought the lye that you use for making liquid soap. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so let's see what we got. We got a box. We got a bag. We got another bag. So, here we go. All right. Two pound potassium hydroxide caustic potash KOH flakes. There we go. I have never used it. I have tried to use regular lye uh, to make um, homemade liquid soap. And I came up with a um, very stiff gelled item. <laughs> it was like jello. So anyway, so I bought the right thing. And I bought it from the right place because they are awesome on their prices with lye. And so we're going to try. I'll be making uh, more videos. And I bought the Essential Depots. Um, I bought their vegetable glycerin. One quart high quality USP Kosher K-O-S-H-E-R food grade GMO free. So I'm very excited about that. I use a lot of vegetable glycerin. I use it in my body butters, my lotions, my soaps. I love glycerin. I fell in love with glycerin for the first time um, when I bought a glycerin, I mean, I guess you could call it a cream, but it was in sort of a gelled state. Um, I got it when um, I used to own a beauty shop, uh, and I owned a beauty shop for years, and so I, I bought it for the first time and sold it to my customers, and the results we had were awesome. And so then I ran out of it, and I wasn't, you know, in the shop anymore, and then Walmart started carrying it. And so then I used it again, and then when I went to Italy, I found it there and bought some, and I still have it. But I pretty much gave up using it because I fell so madly in love with my homemade body butter. Pure organic shea butter. Oh, I got a two-ounce tester. I am so excited. I got something free I can use. All right. And here, I love these. Nice and repurposed. And I'm people that buy soap from me are going to find little particles of cardboard tucked around their soap because I love to reuse packaging materials. I never throw it out. I always store it and reuse it. All right. So this one is ginger grass essential oil from Essential Depot. And this one is black cumin essential oil from Essential Depot. And I, um, I, I bought both of these for a purpose, and I want to talk to you about that, but first, let's smell. Now, I decided that because that I'm having a really hard time opening my essential oils right out of the box and them not smelling right, and then a day or two days later, they smell wonderful, and I feel like, oh, you know, that's just silly. But it's happening, and I don't like it because I want it to smell perfect when it comes out of the box for you. So I was told that if you roll um, the um, jars, 
um, that it, uh, and, I'm, and I think the word was slowly roll, and so I'm going to have to slow down. And then, for safety's sake, the, you know, because it's really, really hot here in Alabama right now, we've been getting 110 at times, and, and when the package got here, the box was just hot. So I put it in the refrigerator. I know, you're all laughing your ass off. So anyway, so let's see if rolling and cooling it down a little bit helps. Oh, how cute. It's got this little thing in it. You've got to see this. I hope you can see it. You just pop it up. And it has two droppers. And, you know, that's always the problem. You're always shake, 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 shake. You can't get it out. But I bet one lets in air while the other lets out product. I bet this will, because they're shaped slightly different. One's taller than the other one and one's shorter. I bet that, um, you know, trying to get just a couple of drops out will really work. So, yes, that was very nice. So this is the ginger grass. Oh, I really like that. I've never had it before, never smelt it. You can smell a little bit of that green grassy smell. And you can smell a ginger. And you can smell a lemon scent. So this is awesome. I'm really, really, really and it has a strongness to it, like lemongrass, that I believe that it won't take a lot to make the soap smell good. So it's not going to be one of those that you've, you've got to use half the bottle to make, you know, just an ounce or a half an ounce, depending on your batch uh, of soap. I'm told that with fragrant oils, you have to use a larger amount of it for smell in a lot of them. Uh, but in essential oils, you don't have to use um, a lot. Okay, so this is the black cumin. And I'm going to... I'm not sure if I'm getting any because it already was some in the lid. Let's see. If... No, that side didn't do it. No. So I'm going to pop off this little top. I mean, a drop did come out, but not to the extent that I wanted. Ah, and this has a slight brownish color. I should have brought a pipelet. There we go. I need more. I'm smelling the uh, plas new plastic smell. <laughs> it has a peppery smell. It has a real clean, peppery smell. I think, because I purchased this to use for its benefits, not for its smell, um, to mix with other essential oils. And I think that this will go into the soap without making a significant effect, but yet... Um, your other scent will just be spiced up a little bit because it has a peppery, spicy smell. I got this to use to make a um, to make a uh, shampoo bar um, for the um, prevention and uh, hopefully benefit of of um, of um, I'm sorry of um, reducing hair loss 
and also gen regenerating um, new growth. And I have a friend who is going to test it. Um, and I'm going to make the soap, and she's going to let me take pictures, and she's going to use it only as a shampoo bar, and then we're just going to track the process over like a two-month period and see if we have any change. So that's why I bought that one. So, so this is our products. I got this from Essential Depot. I'm so excited about this. Oh, and it smells so good. Um, this is the organic, and I have, um, I've not um, had the organic one before. And with um, shea butter, shea butter is, oh, and you know, this is more creamy. It's not as drying. I mean, it's, it's not as, I mean, I even put this in the refrigerator, and normally with shea butter, you have to really fight it to get it to spread. And this just really um, has more of an emollient uh, quality to it. And it really soaks in nice. This is uh, much better. Much, much better. I was just fixing. Isn't that a word, fixing? I was just fixing to buy some of this, to try it. Because I had seen it recommended by Bonnie on Good Earth Spa. Now I got it under my fingernails. But yeah, that is much better um, when it comes to, to smoothing on and being more of an emollient. Um, and it looks all shiny now, but it just soaks right in. Shea butter has the ability to, sh to soak into every layer of the epidermis and is healing. Um, it is very wonderful for people with psoriasis. Um, there are videos on YouTube that you can watch where people claim that they have used it daily on psoriasis patches and they have been, they have completely went away without other medicational medications being used. Um, and, but if you stop using it, I've seen reports that it that it comes back. So it's not some it's not a cure. It is a uh, defense against. So uh, and it is just awesome. I um, I put it in my body butter, and I have noticed because I put it on my face every night, and I notice the color is coming back in my lips. And I don't know. I feel old, but I'm getting older, and my lips were turning white, and that was really bothering me. Uh, from where I used so much lipstick when I was younger, or maybe it's just old age. I don't know. And so anyway, but now I want to show you on the... Uh, so anyway, I got this at Essential Depot. And um, this is their website. And I got the Ginger Grass. And it's on sale right now for $10.99. And this is June 5th, 2012. And I got the black cumin, cumin I think that's cumin, uh, for $20.26 on sale. And this is, oh, you know, I should show you. Um, there we go. This is the lie that I got. I bought a two pound box, a uh, two pound container for $3.49. And I also bought the vegetable based glycerin, and I don't know if that's going to be easy to find. Yep, there we go. I bought the glycerin, and I bought, it looks like this one here. Uh, yeah, for $6.49. And I thought that was a really good price. I've paid a lot more for that at a health food store. I can't remember the places. I can't remember, but I must have evaluated it and found it a good price because I never buy anything unless it's a good price. You know me. So anyway, so um, that is that. And so now I wanted to show you uh, or read to you um, some of the benefits of the ginger grass. 
Uh, ginger grass essential oil has a sharp green peppery aroma with a lemon undertone, and it absolutely did. It is used in perfumes and blends especially well with rose and rose scented oils. Um, because of its amazing scent and that is one of the reasons that I bought it because I make a Palmarosa and rosemary soap that uh, has a vintage rose smell so I, I particularly purchased it to add to the Palmarosa uh, blend that I'm already making to see if it pulls out even stronger uh, smell of the vintage rose all right, and so it calms the mind and improves the circulation while it's twillets, oh, there's a word, uh, being analgesic and aching muscles. It clears sinus congestion, is antiseptic, and assists with throat allergies and inflammation. Being also related to Palmarosa, it is excellent choice in skin care by helping to reduce wrinkles, scars, and helps with dermatitis and acne. It is strongly antifungal and can be used to help with fungal problems. Stimulates circulation, increases blood flow, removes rough, dry skin, improves skin energy and exfoliating with deeply in, in, with deeply invigorating. Um, maybe I might have twisted my mouth around that one a bit. Um, it says using three to four drops of the essential oil diluted in water used externally to treat eczema. And so that's another thing I'm going to add it to is my bar of lavender and peppermint and tea tree. I'm going to add this to that. Uh, also with ginger grass, essential oil is used as an insect uh, insecticide against mosquitoes and as a deodorant. Oh, that might be good in my homemade deodorant recipe. All right, ginger grass essential oil is used primarily for circulation, stress reduction, and the area of skin care. Also amazing enough, it calms and soothes so good in bath therapy or massage. It sets the mood of being happy. And then it is an analgesic, antidepressant, anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, antiviral, antibacterial, expectorant. Ex tonic and I think that I think that says aphrodisiac all right it is widely used to cure various ailments such as cough rheumatism arthritis gout cold and bronchitis ginger grass oil is used in skin care preparations to reduce scars wrinkle acne and dermatitis so I'm also thinking about using it in my acne bar I have a lemongrass and tea tree all right, and then the black cumin. Traditionally, herbalists claim that this oil is one of the best for the stomach, eyes, ears, hair, mouth, skin, itching problems, rash problems, sores, and herpes. In 1996, the UFDA granted a patent for a drug based on an extract of black cumin. It is being used for treating cancer and for preventing, preventing side effects of anti-cancer a word I'm not chemotherapy drugs and increasing the immune system functions in healing so now when you take a bath with soap you think but I'm gonna bathe in this but they give medical patches uh, where, uh, you know to apply to your skin and and the drugs that are in the patches soak into the skin so taking a tub bath or showering with this um, is going to have a certain amount of it that is going to absorb into the skin so um, I think that in soap it is one of the best ways to use an essential oil so black, black cumin can be used to assist uses stop hair loss helps increase body tone stimulates menstrual period and increasing the blood the flow of breast milk stimulates body energy and helps to recover helps in recovery from fatigue and low spirits used for curing skin conditions such as allergies eczema acne polaris and boils for hair loss apply three drops of lemon to the scalp and massage then use three drops of black cumin to this in the same way reduces balding spots and is said to cause regrowth in hair I know I'm not usually this long-winded so anyway so I bought uh, the black cumin 
to um, make a, sham a shampoo bar for men and women uh, who have had or who have hair loss. And I'm going to test it out and see how it works, and I will keep you posted. And, and you know, what? the only way we learn is to try. Sometimes we fail, sometimes we don't. And I bought the ginger grass essential oil to go with my rose blend. I love rose, the smell of roses. So, so I bought that for that. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. I just wanted to tack on the end. Um, a lady asked me, when you buy the hard oils from Essential Depot, how do you get it out? <clears throat> and so I wanted to show you what I'm going to try. And I've put, a, I've put this much water in the bottom of the coffee cup. And I'm going to stick it in the microwave. Hang on, I'll bring you over here. There we go. And I'm going to put it on a minute, but I'm going to check it in 30 seconds. So, and then I'll bring you. Okay, 30 seconds is up. And let's see. I've made the label totally melt. It's soft, but it has not become liquefied yet. And I think I can leave off the top. I don't think there's going to be need to keep that on. So, I'm going to take that off. And we hit start again. And while that's going, um, I wanted to show you a method. If you buy a hard oil like beef tallow or coconut oil in this size, um, you can put water in a double boiler. And once the, it's, it's uh, got the water going good, you can put the bottle uh, like this um, and... Um, on low once you get the water going good and slowly heat it and then once you have it uh, heated you can pour it into an airtight container for storage um, they also sell stuff uh, coconut oil in the big uh, gallon jug and uh, and another thing you can do is you can just get a big stock pot boil the water set it off the eye let the water calm down just a little bit and then um, uh, on the hard oils, if there's a seal, um, you could submerge. If there's not a seal under the label, this is not a hard oil here. And so, well, and it has a seal. Um, but just for safety's sake, uh, just have enough water that it sits in there, but the water doesn't come over the top. And, uh, and then off the eye, just sit it in the pot because you, you don't want the heat of the eye directly on the bottom of your bottle. So you want to put it, just sit it in boiled water that's good and hot and just let it sit there for a little bit and then pour it over into another container. So see what we got going. Oh yeah, we're doing stuff now. And I've got one of my little containers that I use for, um, um, used to make body butter and you can see I got a lot of it out and I bet if I just let it sit there in that hot water it would continue but for the purposes of this video we'll go ahead and do just a little bit more so I'm going to put it on another minute but I'm just going to let it go a few seconds we'll just see how long it takes um, I'm going to do 15 to start. Because my water's good and hot, it's going to be easier to get it out. And I guess they use these containers because it's cheaper. Because um, they can possibly buy these um, medicine containers. And now, look, it's so light now that it's... Um, tipping over but it's in a cup so it can't turn all the way over so a coffee cup's a good method for these little bottles so anyway so I, I'm, I'm sure that they're able to give away these free little testers much cheaper because um, they can put it in an affordable container and I know about affordable containers because I had to look really hard to find something to work with the body butter so that I could afford to make the body butter if you can't afford the, you know, if you have to pay, you know, $2 for the container, 
then where's your profit? It's it's in the bottom of the container or the cost of the container. There we go. And now there's no reason to mess with that little glob because it's just going to do it some it's just going to solidify. And I'm just going to um, put this in my refrigerator. But you don't have to. You can just set it on the shelf. But you don't want to put the lid on it until it's cooled down. So that's how I deal with getting hard oils out of small opening containers. And um, so in any case, I will put the prices of what we have, what I bought um, on in the description along with the shipping costs. Oh, and I know you was wondering why this Gorilla Glue was sitting here. You know me, I'm always coming up with some notion. And I have took a mind that it would be good to possibly, uh, on the inside of my molds, my soap molds, because the sides let down and the ends let down, to tape, cover the inside of the mold with duct tape. So I bought a really high grade. I bought the Gorilla Tape because it adheres and it's supposed to be three layers of strongness. So anyway, I'm going to tape it on one of my soap molds like like lining with freezer paper and then I'm going to put soap in it and see if the soap will detach from the um, from the tape. You know me, I'm always up to something. So anyway, so there's our shea butter organic. So anyway, so please subscribe, please hit the like button. And please share my videos on Facebook if you don't mind. I would just love that. And uh, check out Essential Depot. And I'll have a link in the description to get you to their website. And um, I'm an affiliate with them. So the link will have my affiliate. It'll, it'll be longer than usual. But that really helps me out if you click on it and then buy something. Um, but you can click on it and just look totally free. It doesn't bother me one way or the other. I'll never know the difference. <laughs> and it don't really matter. It really doesn't. But it's nice. Um, I, I didn't think about being an affiliate. And then I saw the little link on their webpage that said be an affiliate or affiliate something. And if you have a website or a YouTube channel, you can go in and fill out the information. And then you put the link where people will see it. And, um, and then uh, that reaps benefits to you. So that's a wonderful way to help us with the cost of our soap making. You know, every little bit counts. So, um, so anyway, so you'll see the link looks a little odd, but don't worry about it. And, um, and then if you don't mind sharing me on Facebook, I would just love it. Uh, leave me your comments. I love your comments. And uh, just have a wonderful day. Bye, YouTube. All right, this is the soap all stacked up. If you would like to purchase some, I have a Ipsy website and I have a uh, personal website. And I'll have a link in the description and you can purchase some soap from me. I do international and Canada and Mexico and the United States.